Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to Robots. Welcome to Front Mission 4 and its attract mode with its sleek FMV. I feel like at this point in the series, they've kind of refined their designs a bit, or at least the designs are the same, but... Behold, Zeal flying gasoline! <laughs> they've refined them, I feel. Oh no, you want to see some some weapons that probably wouldn't be uh, all that useful. We have Pneumatic Spike. Giant robot-sized submachine gun. Yes! The most accurate weapon! Here it is! Yes! That good spike. Unlike uh, Front Mission 3's Attract Mode, this one doesn't reveal, like, five seconds from 60 various points around the game, which is actually, like, 70 hours. What am I loading for? We're starting a new game. Front Mission 4. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. 2003-2004 PS2 game from Square. In a long-standing series of turn-based mech strategy combat. Yeah, this game's 15 years old. Can you believe it? Look how old we are. Yeah, three was on the PS1, and it showed. Two and three were on the PS1. That's a pretty good shot there, from the kneecaps of the robot. I like that. Yeah, they got pretty good at showing off what these robots, how these robots articulate their arms and stuff and limbs and manipulate their weapons. PS1 era was a lot more wobbling and shaking. A lot less polygons. Also, that they're doing scenes like this with the engine now instead of needing to pre render. Mm hmm. Yeah, that's a big deal. This is not an FMV. Yeah, it looks pretty good. It's a pretty good hit. I felt that. The move. I felt that hit. Oh. 
<laughs> Three cheers for combat appliances. Thank you, Bird Tooth. Much appreciated. Uh, yeah, Anonymous Jerkbag. Uh, the last latent videos are up on YouTube if you want to catch up on them. Which one is the second Huffman conflict? That's Front Mission 1. Okay. Which makes that a weird remark because robot combat was already normal. Right, yeah. Part. Everyone had robots. We have we have always been at robot war with other robots at war. Okay, so we're starting out with this uh, European European group, Durandal, Armor Tactics Research Corps. They are a research group. They do research. Yeah, the Euro Confederation, which is like a weird background side faction in. Wow, that animation. Oh, the mouths? Yeah. Front mission four in Super Marionation. Yeah, this game still has talking heads. We'll never get rid of those. But yeah, this guy. What is this guy's name? Zed, I think? No, sir. I was informed that new Durando recruits are always thrown into a vancer before assuming their post. Yes, that's how we do things. <laughs> but rest assured that this is not a test. Just remember what you learn by piloting vanzas in the French army, and you should do fine. Yes, sir, Commander. Please do away with the formalities. We're a research institute. I don't know, the portraits in, in Front Mission 3 had their charm. There were some good ones. See how the other Front Missions have been more about usually America Mega Alliance versus South Pacific Mega Alliance? Mm hmm. Ah, uh, our drab paint. Ah, uh, we're gonna be stuck with this paint job for a while. Tragic. Yeah. Arrow six, status report. Fire one, arrow six, all green. So, how's the new mount? Its response is so quick it's hard to balance. The control layout is a bit different from the standard ones. Were you expecting any less? That's a Durandal special you're in, lady. If you don't think you can handle it, we can cancel the exercise. No, I'll be fine. I'm already Please in the here. robot and on the ground. Good to hear, Arrow 6. Now, follow my instructions closely. Look, if everything goes wrong and the robot falls down, that's still data. That's right. I'm doing research. It broke is a valid trip report. Okay, so here's our here's our tutorial mission. Uh, movement range is in blue. Uh, moving one space costs one AP. We have a certain amount of AP per round. And we got all kinds of numbers on the bar down there. Yep. Uh, once you have moved, you are allowed to attack or use an item. Uh, right now we have a shotgun and a machine gun. The shotgun has slightly less range. The machine gun costs more AP, but has more range. They are also two different damage types, which we will get into eventually. I love the name Vonzer. The name Vonzer sounds great to me. And yeah, it, they have reduced the stomping sounds a bit. They sound a bit more dynamic here because they were just bam, 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 bam. Those were your walking sounds the whole game. I think it's mostly they slowed down the stomping noises to mm. actually fit with the animations they're putting on screen. Yeah, yeah, because they were just little sprite, little wobbling sprites. Yeah, little sprites that would just kind of wiggle their way across the grid so they would stomp very fast. Good. Let's proceed. 
There is benefit to conserving AP later in the game when you have more expensive moves and more extra AP yes. to throw around. Yeah, because you will get more AP as the game goes on, but you won't be able to move as far, so you're going to have this bank of AP that you will use on extra moves. And you get into that later on. Uh, the link system is the big attraction with this game, in my opinion, which doesn't show up right away. Wait, did I skip over some of the dialogue? Uh, you went directly to selecting attack rather than... Hmm, weird. Or they want you to shoot at nothing? No, they want us to shoot at our test pilots here, Latona oh, yeah, and Beth. Skip moving. You can also speed up just by... You can toggle a speed up just by holding down the button, which is very nice. 63% accuracy on the shotgun, 74% on the machine gun. And let me tell you, the machine guns have some satisfying noises in this game. A good noise. She's pretty good. Uh, Beck is very Italian. Father 1, requesting permission to initiate combat with Arrow 6. Latona is very German. Elsa is very French. Welcome to Europe, the land of Welcome to accents. Europe. Zed is very English. Welcome to Europe. Don't you think it's about time you stopped pampering the new recruit, Father One? I'm going to fight her whether you like it or not. Okay, now they're fighting back. Hey, take it easy. Hey, hey I'm back in here. <laughs> I'm walking here, my giant mech. Please do not fight each other. This is not what we're researching. It's all right. I don't mind. But, uh... <laughs> oh, well. I guess that many mouth laughs. Yeah. <laughs> ah. <laughs> yeah, this is a non-Brexit timeline, actually. All right, they're gonna walk straight up to our face and shoot us. Oh no. Fortunately, our mech seems to have like twice as much HP. So even with two of them, we're not, uh, it's not that much of a threat. I do like the shape of Beck's head. Look at that. All right, well, since you decided to walk up to us, and you have no armor at all. Shotgun is especially devastating when you've already lost, like, one limb, because that damage just gets shifted to the other limbs, I think. So, yeah, it's if... Pretty, pretty good oh, dynamic go between the machine gun and the shotgun as basic core weapons. Mm-hmm. There's subtle differences in when you want to use one over the other. Yeah, I find that that machine gun is better in general for non-damaged enemies. But if you need to just tip someone, you know, one, if someone has their legs almost broken, you know, one shotgun will take it out and do damage to everything else. Set him up and knock him down. Mm-hmm. Does she have? She does not have a weapon, so only Beck is alive now. Actually, I just realized that if I do two shotgun hits, I'll still have enough for a machine gun, but not enough to kill his weapon. Also, right away here, one of the uses for keeping your AP around is you can save it to counterattack things that shoot at you. Yeah, if you're in range. Nice dodge. There we go. Got his gun. They have both been disabled. So... I think he had a punch glove in his other hand. Not anymore. Or maybe he just has a very large hand. Yes, now he is dead. 
Latona is just sitting there, not doing anything, has, has accepted her fate. I may have tricked it. Oh no. Gun and melee is a good combo. I think one of the main characters has has that as his default. Pretty common setup since mm -hmm. Lunch gives you that good concentrated spike of damage. This is O6. Are we done? I killed everyone. Did I win? Yes, O6. Was that some data? <laughs> the mouth flap for the... <laughs> for silence. Good work. Good job blowing up your friends. So the whole game isn't voice acted, but all the battles are, I think. This game still has a lot of text in it, as is front mission tradition. They have been court-martialed. They have been court academia The Court of Science. ex-military personnel, but they also have scientists, experts in robotics, human engineering, psychology. Vonzer critics. We do reviews of giant fighting robots. They all just sit in a circle around a robot and pontificate about it for six hours. That's like the morning meeting. And then testing. Uh, okay, so the game's doing its thing where it's telling you how all your points work. So you get enhancement points. They buy abilities, which go into your computer. That's pretty standard front mission. I think I can figure this part out on my own. Though I, I do remember this, you... You know, look at all your all your stuff and buy new abilities or enhancements for your weapons or ma uh, maximum AP or evasion. Terror shot, not to be confused with panic shot. <laughs> yeah, that's different. The shot that causes terror is very different from the shot that causes panic. Uh, and then you can spend EP to buy new sets of things to buy. So you, you get your new set of abilities to buy. You have to, it's like a two-step program. So yeah, that's how you get uh, new abilities in this game, as opposed to the very strange thing of having them on your equipment and having them completely hidden, like in Front Mission 3. You would just figure that out as you go along in Front Mission 3, because they don't tell you what goes where. Alright, so let's get more AP. Uh, maybe more machine gun level. And uh, rapid fire. Rapid fire multiplies. So 20% ammo increase, and it works on machine guns and shotguns. We also can get either Terror or Panic Shot. Panic Shot lowers the target's accuracy. Terror Shot lowers their evasion. Accuracy sounds more effective for enemies that are dangerous. All right, so we need 20 points to get uh, our next set of things. And Double Shot is on there, so we're going to want to get that eventually. Uh, we have eight skill slots, so we can equip both Rapid Fire and Panic Shot. Good start. 
All right, and we got our machine gun proficiency up, so that's got just going to do more damage, I believe. Probably is more accurate, too. I assume that stuff would make you more accurate and stronger. All right. You're not in the army. You can relax. Congratulations. You found the best job. And Hill. We saw this in the opening cutscene, the German base that was attacked. Not the only one, though. Giant Un robot heists are a very common problem in the future. Yeah. Unknown assailants damage five of its bases beyond repair. The EC is a bit disorganized right now. common thing with the series. The world is divided between these giant mega alliances, and each of them is extremely fragile. Yep. And liable to turn on one another at the drop of a hat. <laughs> Fort Nothing, thanks for the follow. The Blau Nabel. Is this, could this be, could this be a false flag? Somebody doing a robot scheme? Somebody doing a scheme. Well, to make sure, surely you don't mind if a few extra people do some investigations, right? This is a European problem. Oh no, we've been drafted. Yeah, hey, weapons research team, go investigate some crimes. You can do that, right? Yeah. You do forensics? You're scientists? You do robot forensics. Well, surely they've got, like, a wreck or two they need to investigate. What happened to this one? Shot with bullets? Okay. This mm. one? Stabbed with one of the big spike things? Got it. Well, well, no, they probably have, like, an arm part, and it's like, oh, yeah, that's a 76 Russian so-and-so, except you Russia doesn't exist armed. anymore. Those in command. Wow, there's a lot of very not built and Zafra parts here. Oh, boy. <laughs> this is Zed. I am charged with leading our investigation. Are you a member of the Blauer Naval? I am Wagner, the commander. At your service, Commander. We would like to start our investigation immediately. We'll be coming out in our vonsers. Before you do so, let me make one thing clear. 
Giant robot jurisdictional friction hey, between giant robot cops. But... I'm taking command of this giant investigation. Don't forget that someone just slaughtered their compatriots, and they're not in the best of moods. But don't worry, we have our own way of doing things as well. Take your Vons out. We're searching the base. Understood. Do we need? Do you? Do you have to be in your Vonzer to investigate Vonzer crimes? Can yes. you not investigate on foot? It's the law. See, look, they got parts and shell casings. Now the real question: Do you have to be in your combat Vonzer to be doing forensic research? Why isn't there a utility Vonzer? Mm, yeah, away from? investigation Vonzer. It has are the, like are the missile racks and the punch glove necessary to gather data? It has instead of a machine gun, it has a giant magnifying glass. And yeah, a giant forty foot wide deer stalker cap. Dust for giant fingerprints. Giant robot fingerprints. Hang on, we need to analyze these shell casings with the giant mass spectrometer. There is no forensics on these parts. They are clean. Ah, uh, they were prepared. Okay, so they- anyone who got left behind got exploded severely. Just lay low in your giant robot. Yeah. Put some grass over it, no one will notice. What are they doing? I can't tell, sir, but it seems like they're checking something inside their transport. All right, where are we going? Denmark. Okay. Oh, that looks like a base camp. Yeah, this is the place. 
Even if a large transport plane landed here, the locals would just think they saw a UFO or something. <laughs> Good. Let's try to land. Yeah, it sounds like Danes. <laughs> I was like, was he, was he saying a thing there about that? Whoa! They're Whoa. shooting at us! We must land here, one way or another. I know, I know! They're really bad at shooting, though, apparently. I am preparing for combat. I'm going with you. Okay, Elsa and Zed. We have... Three enemies. Shotgun. Machine gun. Standard weapons. Zed is our rocket guy for now. Okay, that's what my okay, that's what my shoulder buttons do. Allies, enemies can cycle yeah, between the two. Lines. So let's see. Do these guys have armor? No, no armor, no preference on damage types here. Uh, rockets have a very specific range in this game. Got to be wary of that. Takes 10 AP to fire a rocket. You fire two. Rapid fire. Uh, similar to previous front mission games, you can proc multiple abilities and have them compound on each other, multiplying your damage. I used up all my AP on machine guns, so I can't counterattack. Elsa's pretty dodgy, though. Uh, no, this is not from. This is. Well, no, this is Squaresoft, I think. They. They produced it. They didn't publish it, right? Yeah, this is Squeenix. Yeah. Hey, Zappa Slave. Thanks for your sub. Welcome. Panic. There it is. 20% extra damage. He still has his gun, though. So he will attack us. Should be able to get him with just one shotgun. If one shell hits him. There it is. So Z does not have a lot of movement. That's worth noting. And it looks like he got uh, partial credit for the kill there. Yeah, because he did some damage. I think that's how it goes. Shotgun's doing some damage on us.
Yes, Elsa has killed now. Good job. She didn't have any problems with that. She's just like, yeah, I'll be fine. I don't, I don't need to have a crisis of, of morality before doing this. I know what I'm getting into. Oh, can I get his arm? If I get a... Uh... 90% on that. Yeah, let's do it. Oh! Oh, that's so sad. Oh, nice! How do you like that? Keep zigging and keep zagging. In equal measure. There we go. Was that his gun? No. Do they have two guns? How do I check? Oh, I see. Okay. So they have dual weapons anyway. Oh, some real good dodging here. See if I luck out and get rid of the body here. The shotgun would not do it. There it is. Yep, he's gonna be close enough to fire. But, pretty far away. Okay, I think now what I'll do... What have we got in terms of items here? We've got two repairs. Where is Zed? Two steps over. Which is good, because that's as far as he can go. And still have enough AP to fire his rocket. Okay. You just break this guy's legs, that'll work. Not a lot. Kind of hard to hit with the shotgun from range. Now the question is, can Zed even attack here? Yes, he can, just barely. Targeting specific parts is the kind of thing you do with special skills later on. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's not your general... It's not the general flow of this game, is that you are shooting... You are going for center mass, but who knows what you're going to hit. Some pilots with some weapons will learn to call the shot. Can we get the arm? Man! I didn't even upgrade her evasion. She's just that good. Yeah. Yeah, uh, your main characters in this game are always very good. Uh, I don't think position matters in this game. Yeah, facing has never been a thing in this. Positioning is all distance. Yeah, distance determines your accuracy, and it's always displayed. All right, everyone gets some EP. They leveled up. We got some money. Pretty simple mission. 
I remember the exact point in which this game turns things up. I feel like we're a few levels away from that, though. Yeah, Elsa just joined this group, and she's already, like, into this investigation thing. She, she's in the right place. Yeah, she's not being dragged in here from any sort of strange, unexpected background. Nope. She was in, was the, in the French army, army got and now she's here. Research, and research became investigation. She's not civilian getting drafted into the international crime shenanigans. No one has to tell her to get into the robot. She's already in the robot. Or like depressed, shattered man with a death wish being gently <laughs> persuaded into resuming fighting. <laughs> I mean, that was pretty good. Yeah. Lloyd, I'm sorry, Royd. <laughs> yeah, Royd Erling. Was that his last name? <laughs> okay, so we got a microchip from a leg part sta okay, a leg leg part stabilizer program. Is that permissible in court? Can we can we implicate Denmark or whoever is are they just hiding in Denmark? Yeah, do, do the balance drivers in this leg prove anything? Are they identifiable? Okay, every manufacturer has its own locomotion, locomotion stabilizer program. That makes sense. Carefully guarded trade secrets. How to keep the robot standing up. Oh, no. It's already starting. I was just joking. I was just joking. It's always Zaftra. It's always Zaftra. Software doesn't export Wanzers. Wanzers. Fonzers. Zoftra is Russia. If if you are not if you are not acquainted with Front Mission Four World, it is Russia plus. It is another mega alliance composed of Russia and neighbors. It's a capital. It's the Soviet Union's footprint, but capitalist technocrat republic. Yeah. Oh, that's why Hermes wasn't in that fight. He was piloting this ship. I forgot. Okay, so armor is a flat third of damage reduction, maybe? Is that a consistent thing? Because it was something you upgraded over time in 3. Yeah, you could scale how much benefit you were getting. So you got three types of damage. You got piercing, impact, and uh, incendiary. Ah. Finally, the garage. Here we are in the garage. Nothing did on our shoulders. They put in logos for every part manufacturer. They did. They have all the parts manufacturers have logos. Yes, my brand. Okay, so 
Oh no, her oh Elsa's evasion is at 25%. That's great. That's really good. Also, yeah, hanger uh hanger music is also pretty good in this game. They're always pretty relaxing. Alright, we only have one camouflage right now. We will get more later. We can change Okay, we can change our colors a bit here, but there are your options are limited. Wait, hold on. Make our way down a little bit here. I think I saw something. Just just slowly make your way through the colors. Sure. This is not chartreuse. Here. Yeah, some of these labels are off. Also, a lot of these are the same damn thing. Maybe the differences are more pronounced under different camo schemes. All right, yeah, what the hell is smolt? Smolt? Wait, where's smolt? I don't see that. Oh, smolt. Smolt is pretty dark. I'll tell you what I like. I like the brightest ones because as I, I like... I, I, I'll be upfront. I like this game, but one of its biggest problems is how drab the colors All right, looking are. Looking it up, it's a type of blue glass. Okay. It's supposed to be cobalt blue grass. Blue glass. Here's where all the colors are, and it's not even like a lot of colors either, but you know, here's some colors. But it's on the lines on your on your thing. So this is like one of those games where you actually are pretty limited to sensible colors for the most part. Which is a shame because I like when I like when you can just ignore that. Like white seems like the best one to me because it's just bright and pronounced. That burnt umber. Yeah, that burnt umber isn't bad actually. But these are all just like very slight tints of gray that are all washed out. And it drives me crazy because I can't differentiate between a lot of them. Dark sepia. Let me have our choice between steel, lead, and gunmetal. <laughs> what kind of, what shape of metal, what, what color of metal do you want? How about horizon blue? How about platinum? Cardi cardinal. Cardinal? Cardinal. Cardinal. Oxblood. Oxblood is Cover like my robot in this, Oxblood. this rusty brown color. Camellia. Old Rose. Maze. <laughs> we can't Court have any robot. new colors. <laughs> Chrome Orange. Fawn. Drab. <laughs> Maroon. That is not maroon. That is not maroon. That's brown. That looks like brown. It's like the game... Oh, mimosa. Yeah, Zed's mimosa colored. Scroll over to sunlight, though, for a second on one of these. On the line? Line color? Sunlight. Okay. Behold, the sun. The sun. It's peach colored? Actually, blonde is pretty good, I guess. Verdigris. Look at all these greens. There, Viridian. Yeah, this is being made very firmly in the next gen brown era. Oh yeah, it is very much stuck in there and it's such a shame because I would like to see some bright colors in this game. Gunmetal. Mallow. <laughs> okay, pilot setup is where we exchange points. Um, let's get our next rank of abilities. We will not have enough to buy double shot yet. We need one more point, unfortunately, but once we do... Uh... Double shot. Oh, okay. 
Double shot only works with this if the same type of ranged weapon is equipped in both hands. Choose your flavor. Yeah. So you gotta you can't differentiate. I think there's a double shot too, which allows you to mix and match. Zed can get shield bash. Uh, so he can counter attack with an equipped shield. Interesting. Fixed damage 100. Uh, it basically reduces damage from big attacks like uh, fists or rockets, and it fixes the point, the, uh, the damage to 100, which basically reduces how much damage you take. Let's get him a missile level so his missiles are better. Um, what's AP charge? Oh, it raises the amount of AP regained every turn by one. So that's that's pretty good. Oh yeah, there's your AP charge right there. So AP charge would be higher than AP, which doesn't seem like that has a point right now. Let's not do that. Let's get him the fixed damage. We don't have a shield yet. So he will learn a piercing missile next time. Or be able to learn piercing missile. How about... How about Hermes? You don't have any points yet. Minus shot. Lowers target's proficiency levels of their weapons, so it makes their weapons less effective. Faint raises evasion to 150%. Seems pretty good. Defend body. Uh, all damage to the body is transferred to its arms. Mm, so I... he has access to rifle and missile launcher skills, bazooka skills. Yeah, he's a, he's a uh, sniper character for the most part i think that's what his skills are based around so i think in this game i think your pilots are more or at least their proficiencies are kind of decided for you i don't know how much control you have over that if you want to like have them branch into other stuff that seems like their archetype is pretty firmly set down by the skill list and then you just vary within that yeah, your, your variation of strategy is still pretty big because once they introduce the link system, how you have your characters interact with each other is, is entirely up to you. So it seems like we're returning to base with our information. Hey, we found your culprits. Uh, they're in Denmark. We have our evidence, which is both... Very revealing and not revealing at all. <laughs> hmm, these international criminals used Russian-made weaponry. Hmm, who could that be? Need to investigate everyone who owns an AK. Okay. We are under attack. Yeah, you know, those colors show up a little better in this light that they, you know, this non-gray drab light. This is slightly... Is just very dark. It is. You didn't think piloting transports was all I was good for, did you? Okay. Hermes has joined. He has a machine gun. Yeah, a machine gun for now. Okay, so we got... Two on this. Okay, we got a Vonzer with a fist and an attack helicopter, and we got two Vonzers and a helicopter on this side. I think the objective for this one is to defend the transport. The Arborator. I like how it tells you the weather. Hmm. Oh, Hermes has a backpack. Okay, oh, yeah, so a repair pack. So this so is a new thing. About. And it's really good because it just it gives you a backpack that can repair. Uh, you can repair and restore if something gets if something gets broken. 
And clear status effects. And clear status effects. Uh, let's see. This would take... Yeah. Not high accuracy, but this guy has a fist. Well, we're going to have to do better than that. It's a start. I remember this mission, and I remember that this thing has a ton of health, actually, and can survive a bit of damage. So I think what I'm going to do is have them... Yeah, go after... Get rid of this flank first. Yeah, focus down these two, and then turn around and finish the rest. That's pretty nice how, because he was facing the other way, when you start the attack, Zed immediately pivots at his hips to fire the rockets. That looks really nice. It looks really smooth. Alright, Elsa can get a bit closer. She's meant to take more damage. We'll get two shots in. So let's see how much damage these guys start to do. Okay, less than a hundred. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, we'll be fine. They'll be wailing on that thing for a long time. Also, ow. <laughs> That's the power of melee. Melee can be very devastating in this game, especially when you start pairing it with special skills and the like. Uh, let's not attract more melee attacks from this guy. Um, actually, first, let's get our rocket attacks in to weaken him. Yeah, right in the kidney. My robotic kidney. Alright, legs are gone. So he can't move that far anymore. So what I can do is just chump him like this. There it is, finally. Rapid fire just makes you shoot more bullets. Restore that arm. Melee guy will not attack this round. Oh, they got distracted. How about that? Going after my backpack guy. I guess that makes sense. However, I didn't attack that turn, and you gave me a chance to use all of my AP, so thank you. Works out for me. <laughs> These very lethargic looking transport copters. Yeah, they okay. decided to just make the rotors spin very slowly and not do any kind of effect to blend them mm -hmm. together. Yeah, they're blinking, but they're spinning slowly. Uh, this should get rid of it. That was not what I wanted. Why did you click on the other... Alright, fine. I can undo that, actually. That's fine. I know what to do. Uh, Hermes can finish off this guy. Yeah. Come on. You got this. Yeah. Didn't even need both volleys. Now. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Yeah, the usual deal with non-robot vehicles is they'll have a lot of meat, but it's all in one part. Yep. So shotguns are pretty good for them. Good. Wearing this guy down. Elsa and Hermes should be able to take him out. 
Maybe he can rocket the other guy. Yeah, this is... See, my big problem with Front Mission 1 is that you had way too many party members. Just too much to, to manage in the course of a fight. Uh, and I liked how future games you had... In 3, you had four characters the whole time. But you had, like, eight total characters and sometimes would have to use, you know, multiple parties and split them up and stuff. Uh, this game is more steady, and I think you have, like, six characters. I think that's a pretty good sweet spot for a game like this. Alright. Yeah, if you're gonna have a lot of units, you need to make sure they're simple units. Oh. Uh, which they really weren't in Front Mission 1. Like, you know, you could customize them with whatever you wanted. Alright, Hermes might be able to take that out if he's accurate enough. Mm, not quite. Meanwhile, the transport gets shot another hundred times with pellets. It's fine. It's fine. It's a pretty strong transport, to be fair. Kind of spreading out my damage a bit here because of positioning, because I need to get Z further away from the actual fight. That's a good hit. That could be real good for us. Maybe Elsa can take out this plane this turn. Maybe one hit can take out this plane this turn so she can counterattack. Rapid fire will help. Nailed it. Got it and won. in there. We should have enough points to get through this. Really, though, your volunteers will run out of points before your transport does. The transport is just, like, a hard limit on this mission. Why does it have 12 action points? It doesn't do anything. It doesn't use them. You're only really allowed to shoot twice, I think. Okay, can we get rid of this guy this turn? Probably. There we go. Alright, Hermes will finish him. This guy attacks after Hermes. I mean, Hermes attacks after this guy, which is weird. I don't understand why that is. Is there a speed stat? There is a speed stat. Huh. That's new, maybe? Also, can you... Can you just... Can you double hit that body? Oh, only once. Only once. 
Yeah, countering is allowed if you have the AP to use your weapon. In the previous game, counterattacks cost extra AP, so that was a mechanic, and budgeting your AP was kind of based around that. In this game, I don't think it does that. I think counterattacks cost the same amount of AP that they normally do. Yeah, maybe they just added more layers to the initiative system mm -hmm. for weapons. Hey, thanks, Flapjaw Spaceman. Your bits. Oh, you're still alive. Come on. Can I get him from here? Probably not, but I'm going to try. All right, Elsa. Elsa's got this. Oh! Oh! You lucky. You are so lucky. But I dodged both your attacks. <laughs> I'm sorry. You are not strong enough. Thanks for your follow, Gloom Purple. Dynamic time. Okay, so firearms are less effective at night. That's not what I wanted. But you can undo your moves, which is good. Alright, Hermes. I know your accuracy is down, but finish this man off. There you go, you got him. Hermes gets his first level. Uh, yeah, we'll use the shotgun on this. He is determined to kill that transport. Bird must slay bird. Bird will kill again. Or bird will just get killed. I don't know. Nature's weird. Does this panic you? <laughs> As you explode? Are you panicked yet? Mission accomplished. Okay, Hermes has some points on the board now. I see you're still in one piece. Yes. Hey, Wagner, where were you that whole fight? Wagner, why do you have Draculas? Also, yeah, something happened to your eyes at night. You okay, Wagner? Okay, okay. This this did not happen until nightfall, right? I'm not imagining that. I must stay here and clean up this mess. But of course. Ready to go when you are. Did you see? On the monitor. Yes. Wagner's irises. They were red. And those tactics he used. I've never seen them before. The power enable secrets run deep. Yes. Alright. 
Let's segment the video right here. We'll be right back. 